Canada has the third largest Ukrainian community in the world, just behind Ukraine itself and Russia. The reaction in Canada to the Ukrainian crisis has been strong. CCTV's Christian Yeo has more. Toronto City Hall basks in the colours of the Ukrainian flag. The sound of prayer fills the lobby as Torontonians hold a vigil in solidarity with the people of Ukraine. This is the third gathering in Toronto in as many days in response to events in Ukraine. A mix of Ukrainians, Canadians and people from around the world all concerned by what's occurring. Reaction here to the occupation of Crimea has been swift and severe, with Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird comparing Russia's behaviour to that of the Nazis. The Prime Minister has put all relations with Russia on ice. Canada has suspended our engagement in preparations for the G8 summit planned in Sochi. We have also recalled our ambassador to Russia, cancelled any government representation at the Paralympic Games, and I've instructed officials to review all planned bilateral interaction with Russia. For Western Ukrainians like Anastasia Kratsova, daily phone calls to family back home only serve to heighten the anxiety over what could happen next. This is Russian what are famous for, for unpredictable acts and actions. So everything could happen. Everything is possible. That's why Ukraine and Ukrainian people are so concerned, because the fire could start every single minute. Russia says it's acting in the interests of Ukraine's ethnic Russian population, something that Ukrainian-Russian Eugene Krupin agrees with. He believes Western Ukrainians are waging a cultural war against Russian speakers in the East and trying to erase the country's Soviet heritage. The steps they did uh, when they started to create the new so-called government is very, very interesting because the first law they, do, they did is uh, to, to prohibit the Russian language everywhere and the second one to destroy old monuments and to build a new one. To Russia loyalists ousted Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych who fled the country last month is still Ukraine's rightful leader. Is he still the legitimate president of Ukraine in your view? Yes, I don't like him but by the law he is. As the standoff in Crimea continues, the outlook for Ukraine is anything but clear. The country faces a crisis as it attempts to balance its historic ties to Russia with its European aspirations. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.